<laughs> hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. I'm giggling already because uh, today's the day where me and Sarah Mack announce our challenges to each other for our three do's and three don'ts challenge. We're going to post our videos up on March 6th. Time is to be determined. Um, and we each have to do whatever the other person says. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, check out her channel and her video to see what she's given me to do. Sarah, this is what you have to do. Your three do's are, let me put on my glasses so I can read. Oh, wrong piece of paper. You must do a swipe using the bloom recipe. So that means like the house paint, the pouring medium recipe, everything you would do for a bloom, except you're gonna do a swipe. That's do number one. Do number two is please do incorporate negative space. And three, please do use five colors. Now for your don'ts, I don't want some itty bitty little tiny canvas. So don't use a tiny canvas. It's gotta be at least 12 by 12 or larger. No baby canvases. No metallics. Nope. No metallics. No pigments. Just straight paint colors. And then finally, you only get no more than two swipes. That's it. So if you make a mulligan or make a mistake and you swipe once and you make a mistake and you swipe again and still don't like it, you got to live with it. Two swipes. That's it. However you want to do it, that's all you get. So... I can't wait to see what she comes up with. So, with that said, um, I do want to take a minute to and recognize a couple more new emerging artists here on YouTube. I did a couple last month with Jody and Arissa. This month, I wanted to recognize um, a gal named Yvonne Mai. Uh, her channel is called My Atelier Art. She's a um, in Germany, her videos are in German and in English with English subtitles, very easy to follow along. And she does the most amazing ring pours, like amazing. The link will come up above. I bought a painting from her, check this out. Isn't that amazing? Like the composition of that in the colors, just like I had to have it. So, uh, I snagged this. I saw her on Instagram a couple months ago and have been following her and she just started a channel. So go check her out. And the next uh, emerging artist who's new to YouTube, who I adore, is Garrick Brown. His channel is Garrick Brown Studio Art. That link will come up as well. He is just high energy and happy and funny, yet he gives the best tips and tricks um, and really helps uh, explain what he's doing and why he's doing it, what works, what fails. Uh, and he does some amazing blooms. So go give Garrick some love. You won't be sorry. Um, he's just high energy and I just, I, I adore him. So please check out those two artists. And then finally, um, I have to give a plug out to my own website, which is waterfallacrylics.com which has been pretty bare bones uh, for the last couple months. And I finally got my act together and loaded it with, I think I put up 35 new pieces of art for sale. Um, some new stuff you guys haven't seen. Several pieces from my private art collection um, that you haven't even seen or you haven't seen in a long time because I was hoarding it. Uh, a couple examples. I, I just grabbed the little guys. There's some bigger pieces, uh, 12 by 36, a couple 18 by 24s, and then cute little things like this little um, underwater reef one that's on wood that's adorable. This one I've had for a long time. I'm finally willing to let it go, this little purple piece. And then finally, my daughter gave me permission to sell her art, so I resined it for her. And she priced it and everything, and her painting is also on my website available for sale. That's really quite stunning. I think she wants new AirPods or something. So she's like, yeah, solid. <laughs> anyway, um, let me talk about 
what we're going to do tonight real quick and then I'll get you down. So a month or two ago, I had done two paintings and I called them deconstructed blooms where I did blooms on uh, 12 by 36 canvases. Uh, the first one was amazing. I gifted it to a girlfriend and then I did one for myself that's been hanging up over there. It's this one here where I did three blooms and then I stretched it all to hell and ruined it. So I'm going to try this again tonight. Like this one I stretched so much back and forth that these cells, you can't even tell that they're cells anymore. It's just totally, totally deconstructed. And um, if I said that was the bloom, you'd be like, what? So we're going to do that tonight. I'm afraid of failure with these since I've had five. This will be attempt number six. I'm going to go a little smaller on a 12 by 24. And this time, try to leave some of the cells and not deconstruct it, but not as bad as this one is. So enough talking. Six minutes later, let's get painting. All right, I have no idea why I have shadows tonight, but I'm just gonna roll with it. So, uh, thanks to Gail Burston for turning me on to uh, Modern Masters. She uh, and another friend, Elise, uh, told me about these paints at Michael's in the acrylic aisle. They were on clearance for three bucks each. So I got a bunch of colors, gonna try them out. So this first one is burnt orange. Second one here is antique bronze. And the third guy is sachet red. And then, whoops. And then finally, I have a pigment, my favorite shade of gold. This is my Pearl X and Aztec gold right here. I'm going to make two big old blooms. Maybe if they're great, I'll leave it be. And if not, then the plan is to deconstruct them and wreck them and make an abstract painting. Fingers crossed for this, y'all, for sure. Sorry for the long intro, too. I had a lot to say. <laughs> oh, and I have one more thing to say. Um, it's a shout out to Molly from Marty's, Molly's Artistry for sending me uh, a set of her new fabulous stands to put your canvas on. They're really sturdy. Um, high grade plastic, the paint peels off. They have little pin holes, so you can take um, a push pin and stick it through and attach it to your canvas if you like. Uh, I'm kind of loving them, so thanks, Molly. Okay, am I uh, centered, kind of, sort of? Yep, there we go. So let me get my house paint. As usual, colors, brands, pouring medium recipe, uh, all of that will come up at the very end of the video um, for you to screenshot. Do know that I walked into Lowe's last week and I think I was just buying painter's tape or something and I came across gallons of the old HGTV Ultra Deep Base paint and got all excited, grabbed three gallons. They were full price, they were not on clearance. And so, I don't think they're making, I don't think Sharon Williams is still making it. I think uh, they're like clearing out a warehouse or something. So, you can substitute the Bayer 8300 for your untinted base mixed with your Minwax Polycrylic. But tonight I do have the uh, HDTV Ultra Deep Base. Let me see my colors. I'm just going to do one at a time. Well, I might as well make both puddles. And I'm making fairly large puddles for fairly large blooms. That's my least favorite color. I think I want the orange on top, or maybe the gold. We'll do the gold. So we'll just go dark to light. Sachet red. I like that. It's very spunky. Uh, some orange. 
I will tell you too, since these were not like fluid acrylics, but not as um, thick as two paints, that when I mixed uh, my ratio one to one, I did have to take um, these little spoons. This is an eighth of a teaspoon, so I did two, so a quarter of a teaspoon of varnish in these colors, except for my gold, because that was, you know, it was a powder, um, to get it a little thinner consistency because it was too thick. The gold, the pigment, I didn't have to mess with. All right, I have um, Mars Black by Golden as my cell activator. Let me move these out of the way. And I'll just put down one and give it a blowout. See what happens. Alright. Wish me luck. So Cool Air High Fan. Oops. And nothing's happening. Hold on, I gotta push the little button. Okay, so I kind of made a mess of that. Oh. I wrecked into the other bloom. That's okay by me. And this is deliberate here because I want some white. If you notice the one I showed you at the beginning of the video, there were white areas. That's too much black, so I'm going to have to give that a puff and take off my glasses. Put my do rag on. There we go. Mm. Whole bunch of cells there. All right. This puddle's gonna break into that, that's fine. Try to get some more white, maybe up in here. And just so you know, when I have my hair dryer on high, I am holding it back like a good foot, foot and a half away, and then directing the air, and then slowly coming in. That's why you don't see my hair dryer on the screen, I noticed in lessons lately that people tend to like dive on their hair dryer right into the paint. You want to keep it out, um, find where the air direction is, make sure it's hitting your cell activator, and then slowly move in. All right, number two. Here we go.
wanted to, I don't like this uh, brown spot right there. I'm just gonna grab a stick and kind of pull my cell activator over it and blow on it. There, this is all collected nicely. Give a puff in here, let this collect, and then we're tilt, because I'm definitely gonna wreck this. <gasps> Thank goodness for an apron. I just stuck my apron right into the corner edge of the, uh, <laughs> of, of the canvas. Hold on a second. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness I'm wearing an apron. All right, let's try that again. Just trying to get some white cells up in here. I am gonna let this sit for a good three or four minutes. Um, this is still has a divot here, and this is all divoted. So I need this all to like slowly creep in and collect. So it has that pillow underneath before I tilt. Be right back. Okay, looking pretty good. I don't like this big white spot right here. I just need some like doodle lines or something through there um, for when I tilt. I try to imagine what it would look like stretched out. And when I saw that big blank white spot, I just thought there's gonna be a big separation between the two blooms, even though they're not gonna be blooms by the time I'm done. So let me just throw some white in a couple little spots, like a little bit right here. And on my corners over here. Where my these are my uh, trouble spots. These corners here, and then a little bit in there. All right. Wish me luck. That looks so amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin it. So let's see. If I go off off camera, just hang tight. Cause I'm gonna go, hmm, see there's some middle parts, still don't wanna move. But I'm gonna force it this way and come off right down the center. And then bring it back. And I need to beeline toward this end first, I feel. I'm going to squish all those cells, squish, squish, squish. We'll leave a little bit of negative space in that one corner. Bring it all back, unsquish, unsquish, unsquish. And then sort of kind of in the center, squish toward this other side. And then we'll bring it back again. Almost there, almost there, off you go. Oh, I wanna keep the white on the edge. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm sorry if it's hard. Let's just see, let me set this down on stair. So far, so good. I'm liking this. This is all too much this way, so it's not balanced. So this all needs to come up this way and we'll get to those corners. I like the, my little bits of white I have. That's uh, actually my favorite thing. I got a big old spot of negative space here. Let me uh, stare at this a second and see if I wanna keep that.
I'm gonna keep it for the a, a minute just because there's that's where I poured that White House paint just to um, help it put it to work and move things around but I think I'm gonna end up pouring that off so we'll put it to work first so let's come everybody head the other way and this might take a second to get down I'm going to take part of it off camera for a second just so I can get to this one corner down here off you go bring it back Toward the other corner. Almost there. If you can't see, I'm so sorry. This might be a terrible video. And I'm gonna keep going because I wanna take off the white. We'll leave a little tiny bit. And now I'm gonna bring everything back at my end. Can you see right here where I'm shaking? That's all gonna come back now. And I kind of have a composition in mind if I can move everything back. So this part here, like where this finger is, this is the top of the painting. This is the top. So I just kind of want to line it up in the middle and then bring it down. And I want to stare at it, see how close I got mind frame oh it's looking pretty good though not happy with the um, paint uh, I didn't say anything earlier um, I've had tried this paint twice now um, I tried to do a swipe with them and a flip cup and as far as I'm concerned, they're beautiful colors. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm not sure of the pigment load in them because I'm already getting some tearing on the edges of those uh, modern masters. And I know it's the paint and not like the recipe or anything. You know why? It's because wherever there's the gold from the pigment, it's not doing it. The, the gold is stretching out like, yeah, I can handle this just fine that sachet red right here it's like i can't do it man you're asking too much anyway let me stare at this a second i'm gonna bring it down this way just a hair more and maybe tilt this way again a hair more just to get rid of the tears um right there otherwise i'm like pretty pretty happy i love the colors my favorite thing is that the black cell activator um, didn't leave black globs of paint um, everywhere and i think that's because i used a, a four to one ratio and had my ca on the thin side so it kind of sunk so let me see, let me take it off the little stand and just bring it down this way. And then over See, it's not gonna stretch. I'm gonna have to like touch that up with paint. There's no way for me to get it. I'll show you a close up of what I'm dealing with. Just let me put everything back. I'll just touch it up with gold is what I'll do. All right. Let me give it one last look. Make sure I'm happy with the composition. I think I really, really am. I like all the white space. Giving it one last stare. That last um, tilt gave me a, a little baby bikini corner, but it's adorable, so I'm gonna leave it. 
and I do like my little bits of white everywhere. I'm gonna say ta-da! Yeah. Let me uh, plead up my fingers, get you guys down for a close-up. I'm really happy with this one, y'all. Like, really, really happy. So here's the lower part of the uh, canvas. There's the top up there. We'll start down here. Just uh, the colors are glorious. And my favorite thing are like these little areas with the baby white cells. Like, I love that stuff. That makes me happy. Here's one I wanna show you with the Modern Masters paint. Here's the edge where the gold, where's my finger? Oh, finger. Right here where the gold is mixed in with that sachet red, but the Aztec gold did not rip. Where the gold ends and it's just the sachet red, rip, rippity rip, rip, rip all the way down that side. Uh, I didn't do it so much on the other side. Maybe I didn't try to stretch it so much over here. I have a little bit of ripping right there. I can touch that up with the paintbrush once this is dry because it's, you know, fairly straightforward, straight lines. Uh, love the bottom, love these colors together. We're super, super pretty. Got the whole middle section here, all wispy. Not too, too dark with the black cell activator. A little break in the action. And then we come up to the top and ba-bam. There's my cute little corner. Negative space in the other corner. Just, wow, that's really cool. Totally deconstructed bloom. I'm gonna bring it all up high like that. So this side over here, that's the top, that's the bottom. There she be. Let me flip around. Hey, it's me. I'm back with the dry results and then I realized I was editing this video and realized I didn't film a goodbye. <laughs> so this will be dry results and goodbye all in one. Um, but here it is. If it looks a little bit different, it's because I ended up tilting it some more from the wet version you just saw a minute ago. And there was like a swath of paint right here and I got rid of it because I didn't like it. And I went ahead and took my paintbrush and touched up the edges where that um, Modern Masters paint had split. Uh, so it's looking really, really blingy and pretty. Oh my goodness, I haven't decided on the orientation but there it is, I'll dry and, let me see if I can pick it up and do it. Hold on, I'll set it against my uh, stand like that. Sorry for the reflection. Oh, I love that. That's what it looks like. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me flip around. Yeah, that's it for me. Um, I hope you guys like this. Please do uh, join me and Sarah for our three do's and don't challenge. Our uh, March 6th is going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I can't wait. And um, I'm actually going to paint again. It's getting late, but I'm going to sneak in one more so you guys will see a second video. Uh, see you in a bit. Peace out.